Hi, and so today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the hair color on Photo P website. So all you need to do, first of all, is just go and open the browser that you're going to use to follow this tutorial. Steps with, so of course, here in my case, I'm actually using the Brave browser. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Then just go and open the browser, go here to the URL section and type photop.com and hit the enter button. Once you did that, you will be here at this page, which is going to be your home or your main screen. From here, of course, you would like to click at create a new project, open or upload something from your computer, choose some of their PSD templates, or you can just drop your file here and start working on your project or file. So for me, I'm just going to open something from my computer. And let me select something from my computer. This one, this has a hair. And of course, if you choose a template or something, you will need to wait a bit and you will find your templates right here until, of course, until it's loaded. Once it's loaded, you will find your template here and the components of the templates right here. So for me, as you can see, that will be the hair. So now I would like just to go and click add this option, this magic one. Then I'm going to click here. So as you can see, if they selected the hair, that's great. And of course, if they didn't select the hair or anything, so of course it's not not like not select anything. It may select like the background or something. Then you would like just to go here at the magic wand again, right click and click at quick selection. Then click once again there, of course. Then of course if it selects at the background again, just go and hit this minus and of course remove whatever you want to remove. Of course for me I'm just going to add this small thing right here. And as you can see, they added this for me. I don't want it. So I'm just going to click. And as you can see, it's removed. I'm going to remove the face as well. And let me just remove it. And as you can see, now just the hair, which is selected. Of course, I can even like, let me just reduce this. And add this as well. Yeah, now it's added. Of course, let me just remove this from here. Okay, it's removed now. So, then you would like just to go and click at Refine Edge. And as you can see, now that is the hair selected for us. And let's just, maybe you can change the border if you want. Let me just make it 2. Or let me j just make it 0, why not? And let's just make the background white like that and click Add. Okay, now as you can see, that selects for us just the hair. And of course, you can see the whole picture if you just click here, as you can see. Let me just remove it for now. And of course, now make sure to select this, not this. Make sure to select this. Then go here to Image, Adjustment. And then you'd like to look for this saturation and hue. And here, let me just grab it here. And as you can see now, if we like keep changing this options, as you can see, the color here will change. As you can see now, you can of course change it from here as you can see so let's just try to make it red or this is not red wait let's make it this maybe this i don't know so of course you can like start playing with this you can like just keep coloring or like of course you do what you want to do of course as you can see you can even choose from here as you can see red we have here red, yellow, and other stuff, of course, from here. And if after maybe you finish, just hit the OK button. And now, as you can see, our care core uh, or our hair color has been changed. Of course, you can even remove those uh, added edges by yourself. And that will be actually it. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.